Hello again everyone and welcome back to Plowbender's Custom Creations. Today we're going to be taking a look at my custom 164 scale 2012 Chevy 2500 Duramax diesel pickup truck. Now I've built quite a few of these trucks over the years and this one here is pretty close to the original I built. I don't have the original anymore because I sold it off a while back. But uh, this one's pretty similar, the only difference being the shade of red and it has quite a bit more detail. But in order to build this truck, uh, quite a bit of work went into it because uh, regardless what I'm building, they always start out like this. And I think we can, most of us can agree that this isn't that appealing. I mean, it sits low to the ground. I don't really care much for the wheels, and on top of that, you got the excessive use of chrome, which goes straight into the interior. Yeah, how's that supposed to work? But, like I said, there's a bit of work that goes into making this look like this. And one of the first things is obviously uh, lifting it, and I achieve that by using uh, tubing which I super glue in place first, and then I go back and reinforce it with JB Weld, and I find that makes a better bond. But then the wheels I get from a donor model. Uh, these came off of another truck. And in terms of paint, I use rattle cans, and I start out with a coat of primer underneath, and then I go ahead and apply two layers of paint, and, uh, the particular paint I used on this truck was a uh, Walmart generic brand and it actually surprised me because if you look at this truck the paint has a very glossy finish to it which uh, personally I wouldn't expect from a generic brand paint so it's actually done pretty well on this and I know I did not apply a clear coat to this too so that just uh, you know elevates it that much more uh, I'd say you know different people have different results of course but uh, like I said for a generic brand paint that's uh, kind of impressive now on to the smaller bits like the tail lights the trim the door handles that was all painted on by hand with a toothpick which I've found to be very effective and uh, it's basically my method for painting these small bits but uh, on to uh, stuff like the Nerf bars and the side view mirrors and the cab lights, those were all made from scratch. And I mean, you can even see like the cab lights, for example, they're actually, you know, cab lights. They're not just a uh, painted on detail. And I mean, if you can do something like that, it really elevates the look of your uh, custom. And uh, that's uh, something, you know, little trick I have with uh, cab lights. Now, uh, Pretty much the last thing to do was go ahead and add a fifth wheel hitch, which is not really anything exciting, it's just a hole drilled in the bed, and also make a custom bumper hitch so this truck can haul uh, wagons and trailers. And uh, overall, I was really happy with how this turned out, and uh, really this is just like one out of many I've built. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've built over 50 of these trucks over the years. Uh, I've only kept a handful for myself, and uh, most of them were basically sold off to people who wanted them. And that was the thing. When I was building, like, these trucks, a lot of people wanted them, and, you know, I was, you know, building them left and right for people up until uh, a couple years back. The market just slipped for these because uh, no one really, you know, uh, wanted them because other manufacturers were coming out with trucks like these, and I mean... You know, this is 2012, a lot of people anymore, they want the 2018s and the 2019s, and um, I mean, unfortunately, like, the manufacturers such as Greenlight, for example, they can pump those trucks out faster and in bigger numbers than I can, and at far cheaper prices than, you know, I can charge to build them. And I'm going to show you another truck I built, basically using the same truck. The only difference here is with this one, this is a 3500, by the way, uh... I basically chopped the pickup bed off and put a utility bed on. And you can also see here, I uh, used different wheels and also stretched the frame to allow for the longer bed. But, uh, you know, still using the same truck and uh, still a very uh, nice looking build overall. 
and uh, I mean I've done other examples but I don't want to get caught up in like all those in this video but uh, to wrap things up like I said uh, this is a very uh, nice custom in my opinion turned out better than the uh, first time first attempt I had at you know doing this and uh, yeah it's uh, this was building these was pretty much a stepping stone in my uh, custom building stuff because you know I uh, really didn't get into the massive custom builds up until I came across these years back but anyways uh, that's gonna do it for this video uh, you know thanks for watching uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already leave a comment in the video with your thoughts on this build and uh, see you next time